but it is perfectly clear. I mean, clear, clear. Got a quick one here, working on this little resi unit. So I got power here on both sides of the fuse. See that? So my transformer's putting out power. Now it comes up through this plug over to here. This is the next place it goes. I've got power there. Goes up this black wire, comes back down to here, and I've got nothing there. So something is breaking power. That 24 volts has been cut by what? This little piece of trash right here. I do not like these things. This is not the first time I've seen them give a false positive. Now that drain pan's a little funky, but that's a typical drain pan on this age of a unit, but it is perfectly clear. I mean, clear, clear. Check to this, it's also clear. The thing is, just the turbulence, they just sometimes fill up with water without a cause. I've seen that more than once. You know, you'll get a few drops here and there, and over time it just builds up and sits in here because it can't get back out. The way the overflow is on here is it's like halfway restricted. So the water has to get up to this point to get in, but it also has to get up to this point to get out. So when water gets trapped in here, it ends up just creating a, a false positive on that switch. What I really like is an easy trap kind of like this way better and just takes the place of this but I'm gonna cut this and splice it and just do away with it because uh, we have a pan switch over there I threw some drain tabs in there got that bypassed she's running now hopefully you can hear that I got to get out of this attic it is way too hot up here 